good morning everybody. It's uh, one of them days where you had plans yesterday and they got spoiled so you just improvise. So we're hauling some straw home. Oh, how good a video this is. Of course the windows are dirty because we never stopped long enough to clean it out darn things. But uh, just wanted to wish everybody in the good old US of A a uh, belated happy Thanksgiving. As you know or don't know, here in Canada, we celebrated that last month. Should have maybe put the phone in a mount, but that didn't happen, so. Anyway, just uh, got a notice from from uh, YouTube's that my subscriber list is growing considerably in the last couple of days. It's been kind of meandering around that 510, 515 mark, and we're up over 515 now. And in no short order, that is due to uh, Mr. Will Sowers mentioning us in his video the other day. Good friend of mine. Good friend of Liz's. We're just uh, yeah, thankful for that. And uh, seen a subscriber pop up in the feed that I was pretty excited to have. Old Diesel Fuel One. If you haven't watched his channel, check it out. Yeah, we're just here in central Alberta on a kind of a 32 degree day. Just picking straw bales before they get snowed in. deer hunting season here but we haven't seemed to be able to get out yet but that's okay no rest for the wicked we have been flat out hauling hay and straw out um, for the last oh I don't even know how long now three weeks or more a month put as of yesterday I think 7,000 miles and that's miles on the truck in the last uh, well, the way it works out is we only work half days every other week just to be uh, getting the girls to different activities. So that kind of puts a damper on it. But say in three weeks, lots of miles on. So that's been good. And some hay out to some folks that need it. Straw, straw moved out. Anyway, just a quick one just to say hi. Hope everybody's having a great day. Great weekend. Black Friday was yesterday. I don't know what they call today. Should be kind of a hangover from shopping day, I guess. But, uh, got the old war wagon out. remember that it's been in a video or two from last year just uh what probably was a uh, an hydrous tank frame stretched out and uh we adapted it to our purposes and it is handy you don't have to have somebody drive you to the field and drop you off and, with the tractor and, you know that kind of stuff and just do it all at one machine yeah it puts a few more hours on the tractor and yeah, we got a truck that's more than capable of hauling all this, but just put the hours on the tractor. No Boda 108 is just a ah, it's not the It's not the heaviest tractor in the world, but it gets the job done. So yeah. We're gonna go this afternoon and do some aluminum welding. On, as my friend calls it, the 13 letter shit spreader, the International 9200. Proved to outsmart myself. I built a bracket for the uh, light bar that we're installing and didn't think to uh, <laughs> close it up before I tightened everything down. <laughs> I. Uh, blocked off my main tow point for that truck so we're, we're gonna go revamp that whole deal so 
Anyways, just thought I'd say hi and see how everybody's doing. Uh, I'm gonna get to rebailing here in the next few days. So maybe we'll get a video up of that. Uh, it'll be a one-man show, so we'll see if we can make that all work without running my absolute butt off. But that would never hurt either. A little exercise never hurt nobody. Yeah, anyway, we're at like five minutes, so time to go. Have a great day, everybody.